Hey guys, it is January 21st. This is the first in a series of video logs. I'm going to be logging my journey from um, powerlifting to smaller powerlifting. I've spent the last two years trying to um, work towards a 2,000 pound raw total. And during the process, I've allowed myself to put on you know, a few pounds over the years. I wasn't too concerned with eating. But now, um, for several reasons, I want to get back down to 230-ish. Uh, the primary reason is that uh, life insurance policies, my life insurance policy is coming up for renewal, and they take into account BMI. So unless I am in that range for BMI, I'm going to be paying $400 a month on insurance, life insurance, and I simply can't do that. You know, that uh, that doesn't work for my family. So I really have no choice. Plus, um, you know, I think it's time to move on in uh, in life from um, from this uh, from one chapter, the, the chapter where I'm chasing the biggest numbers possible and move on to another chapter in my life. I've always had a real big love for muscle building. And I am quite frankly right now, um, as big muscle wise as I've ever been my traps uh, you know not patting myself on the back here guys but my traps scare me in the mirror right now um, my back is just monstrous from the deadlifting um, my erectors are just you know insanely huge you know I, I never expected them to grow that big from deadlifting I have lost some size um, you know, from not doing a lot of direct arm work, my arms are down to 18 and a half inches, which sounds like a lot, but once I get back down to about 230 pounds, it should, uh, they should be around 17 or 16 and three quarters. Um, hopefully I'll gain some of that size back and push them to 17 and a quarter. But anyway, guys, I wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an overview of my training and supplementation going forward and my diet plan. Let me talk about diet first. Um, I eat a low carb diet. It's not paleo. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not anal. My main goal is to eat processed or low to no processed foods. Um, I eat until satiety. Or, um, boy, that's a hard word for me to say. I eat until I feel full. Um, I uh, I try to avoid uh, you know anything uh, with chemicals or additives. I try to cook my own uh, food every night and um, I'm gonna stick to that for the first month of this workout plan this new workout plan just see how the weight loss goes with just eating to uh, feeling full my basic diet plan is um, it started out as intermittent fasting um, where I would only eat after my, my workout about five o'clock but right now, I usually have three uh, feedings in the morning, three to four protein feedings in the morning, along with some fish oil. So it kind of, you know, resembles carb backloading, but without the carbs. So it's uh, basically fat backloading. Fat back, fat back, get it? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? So I'm doing fat backloading, kids. Um... So that's my diet. During the morning I'll have protein shakes and then a few fish oil tabs with each shake. Um, my training. I am going to be switching gears dramatically. Uh, for, for many, many years, 20 years, I, I worked pretty moderate uh, amount of volume. Not high volume, not low volume. But I did a good, a good amount of uh, um, sets per body part. Um, last two years, I've only been doing uh, you know a few one to two sets per lift per workout, and my conditioning. Uh, needless to say, my conditioning is in the old toilet, the old toilet. So I need to bring up my conditioning. What I'm going to be doing is uh, three full body uh, workouts Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I planned on starting today, but I started to feel a little bit sick. Um, I'm starting to bounce back, but um, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Hopefully I can start tomorrow. Basically, we're looking at like 36 sets a day, um, which sounds intense, and it probably will be. Rest between sets is going to be about a minute, so it's going to be a brisk pace. Um, we're really going to be ripping through it, trying to burn some fat, 
and keep our strength, keep our muscle. I'm going to be hitting pretty much every muscle group. Uh, Monday's workout, I'm going to be doing squats and deadlifts. I'm not going to be doing, um, you know, the 3 by 10 on this program or the 3 by 10 you're going to see, you know, for the rest of the lifts as I explain it. I'm going to be doing for squats 225 by 10, 315 by 10, 415 by 5, and 465 by as much as possible. So... My warm-up sets are actually going to be rep work as I build, and then, uh, you know, so I don't have to, th I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, stretching this out time-wise by having to build up in, in too many warm-up sets. Some of my warm-up sets are going to be, uh, you know, filled with reps, so if that makes sense, I'm going to be doing the same thing with deadlifts, 405 by 5, 495 by 5. And then 585 or 635 by as many reps as possible based on how I feel that day. Basically, it's going to go Monday and Friday as a squat day, and Wednesday is a deadlift day. Um, on Monday, my workout is going to be squats, bench press, leg extensions, flies, stiff leg deadlift, seated overhead press, bulldozer laterals, barbell rows, barbell shrugs, dumbbell curls, and seated two arm extensions. I might even throw in some calves because I forgot to put those in, kids. No ab, ab work because, kids, I don't need it. My abs are humongous from squats and deadlifts, if you can believe that. <clears throat> Wednesday is going to be deadlifts, dumbbell bench press, goblet squats, incline flies, leg curl, seated dumbbell press, reverse flies, Rack chins, upright rows, hammer curls, and skull crushers. Friday is going to be squats, incline bench, leg extensions, flies, stiff leg deadlift, um, seated overhead press, bulldozer laterals, dumbbell rows, barbell shrugs, dumbbell curls, and seated two arm extensions. I'm going to list my uh, workout below in the description so you can check it out if you have any questions. Um, Again, it's going to be intense, brief rest, a minute between sets, and I am probably going to hate my life for the first month because it's going to be quite an adjustment. Like I said, during the first month, I'm just going to be keeping my calories. Um, I'm not going to be counting calories or macros or anything like that. I'm just going to eat until satiety and see what happens that first month and then make adjustments from there. Um, let's see, supplement-wise, I also want to cover my supplements because this isn't something I talk about much. Um, I'll start with some of the basics. This right here is a, a probiotic, acidophilus. I take, um, you know, a couple of those a day just to uh, keep my um, digestive health in check. This is my favorite supplement, guys. Ibuprofen. I'm old. I work 800 hours a day, and sometimes I get headaches from working 800 hours a day, so that's what I take. Um, sleep Aid, kids. Whoops, my light on my pewter went down. Sleep Aid, I take uh, Bulletproof by Muscle Farm. I don't take this every night, but on those nights where I'm mentally jacked up and uh, have a hard, you know, I know I'm going to have a harder time going to sleep. I'll take the old Muscle Farm. Um, this stuff actually uh, actually does a pretty decent job. It uh, helps me stay conked out. And like uh, you know, being old, I tend to get up a couple times at night to to uh, take a wee wee, kids. Um, being uh, you know when I when I get up, I'm pretty I'm pretty much able to zonk back out to sleep when I'm taking the old Muscle Farm Bulletproof. Um, let's see what else do I got here, guys. Hydromino. Um, this is a BCAA drink. I uh, some I sometimes take this intra workout at night. I'll sip it on ice when I'm thirsty um, instead of drinking like uh, a juice or a um, uh, you know a, a diet soda. I'd rather just sip on something a little more healthy. That you know, I mean. You know, it's a lot better than plain waters, uh, plain water. Plus, I'm getting some, you know, I'm getting some taste, and I'm getting some BCAAs. So, this is kind of a staple of mine. I love having this over ice, kids. So, um, <clears throat> th this is Hydromino is made by MuscleAndStrength.com, MuscleAndStrength.com. Whoa, and I just dropped it, kids. Um, 
The one thing I take here that I don't have listed is my fish oil. That's made by muscleandstrength.com. And my protein staple is Premium Series by Muscle and Strength. I have uh, a scoop of this. This is a milk chocolate, and if you haven't tried this, this is the best milk chocolate I've tried, kids. This is some good stuff. Um, I put it in my coffee, in about 20 ounces of coffee, with just a little bit of water to cool my coffee, and it's got some good flavor. That's that's basically basically my uh, my protein and calorie source until my big meal at night. Um, so this is my protein staple. I don't use anything else at all. If uh, if this happens to be out, I must I might use Muscle Gauge Nutrition Cinnamon Bun, but this is uh, where it's at for me right now. Um, and speaking of supplements, I am going to be taking a new journey with. Uh, P and I Nutrition. Um, I'm sure you uh, have heard of Eric Browser or Browser Browser, I believe his name is pronounced. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, this is uh, his company, and basically, I got some supplements I'm going to be testing out um, from P and I Kids. P and I. This is Prodigy, their pre-workout. Now I haven't taken a pre-workout in quite a long time. I was a, um, cripe, I can't even remember what I was taking that I used to recommend, but um, Prodigy, I got Fruit Punch and Watermelon. Watermelon sounds good. I'm probably going to start with that. I'm going to give this a try. I work a lot of hours. Um, a lot of times I am dragging full butt by the time it comes to the workout. So, you know, pre-workouts, um, you know, generally help me get that little extra focus and that little extra energy and uh, you know it helps an old man like me so I'm I'm uh, fired up to give P&I's um, you know stuff a try and uh, I'll be logging my my experiences with P&I my unbiased experiences with P&I in this video log um, also because I'm cunning I'm going to be trying P&I's Thermadex fat burner I've only ran one fat burner previously and it did give me some good focus and some good clean energy so I'm curious to see what this does so this is a new product for me I'm gonna start with the minimum dose and I'll be uh, also video logging my experiences with this and guys I also have two more products from P&I I'm going to be trying D-Test which is D-Aspartic Acid DAA and Paragon which uh, is a testosterone booster uh, that contains D3 now kids the D3 is extremely important for me because I work indoors and I don't see the sun very often. Um, so, you know, I need my D3. Um, this, is, this is something that's essential for me. Um, so I will be taking that and logging these both and sharing any experiences I can with you guys. So, guys... That is my supplement regimen. It seems like a lot. Um, in the past, I have, you know, I generally only run a few things. I, I haven't run all these at one time. But, you know, I'm doing this cut. This is a, a new venture for me. I need all the guns I can bring into the war possible. You know, so therefore I'm going to. I'm going to pull out no stops. I'm going to bring the test boosters and the D, uh, you know, the D3 and the, the sleep aids and the, you know, the pre-workouts. And, uh, you know, I'm going to um, hit on all cylinders and, and uh, just try to, uh, you know, maximize my recovery, my sleep and everything that I can. So, guys, that is where I'm at. This is a long video. I thank you guys for sticking around if you're watching this. If you have any questions about my supplementation, my diet, or my training program, let me know in the comments section or in my log. And guys, I'd be glad to answer those questions. So, again, this is a journey for me. I'm going to be venturing into, uh, I'm not from powerlifting to bodybuilding, but from powerlifter to power builder. And I want to reveal the muscle mass that I have, kids. Let's see. Come on, join me in this journey, guys. Thanks for following, guys.